Oh, yes. But I think it's all right. We may lose the small battles, but win the big war. The new movie, Loving, chronicles the lengthy, lengthy fight for interracial couples to get married in the U.S. Mildred and Richard Loving are the couple behind the landmark Supreme Court case. The state of Virginia challenged their marriage more than 50 years ago. Jan Crawford spoke to one of the lawyers who argued the Loving case and two people whose lives were changed forever by the fight. She's outside the Supreme Court in Washington. Jan, good morning. Well, good morning. So the Lovings were just a quiet, unassuming couple from rural Virginia. They got married. They wanted to live near their friends and family, but they quickly ended up in the middle of a decade long legal fight. And their struggle shows how regular people can change the world. We were married on the June, 2nd day of June. Mildred and Richard Loving were unlikely civil rights pioneers. The police came after us the 14th of July. Would you marry me? The new movie tells their story. Married in 1958 in Washington, D.C., they were arrested when they returned home to central Virginia. In here? Richard! What you doing in bed with that woman? I'm his wife. That's no good here. Authorities ordered them to leave Virginia or face five years in prison for violating the state's ban on interracial marriage, as the couple explained in a 1965 interview with CBS. I didn't want to, you know, leave away from around my family and friends. Leaving my home was the hardest for me. I didn't see why it made sense to have to leave. The loving settled in Washington, and seeing the struggle for civil rights up close gave them hope. Dear sir, I'm writing to you concerning a problem we have. Phil Hirschkopf was a recent law school graduate who, along with law partner Bernard Cohen, got involved in the Loving's fight after Mildred wrote a letter to the American Civil Liberties Union. Initially, it was seen as a simple criminal case. Did you know right away this is a case that could change history? No. No. If it was something of such great note, there's no way the ACLU would have let Bernie Cohen and me do it. I was, he was two years out of law school with no experience, whatever, and I was two months out of law school. Two months. Saying we had no significant Supreme Court experience is overstating it. We had no Supreme Court experience. Nothing. <laughs> Despite the civil rights milestones of the 1960s, more than a dozen states at the time still banned interracial marriage. Those who support such laws claim they are necessary in order to preserve the purity of the races. Ultimately, the courts were our saviors. The Supreme Court, under Chief Justice Earl Warren, was ready to end those laws. Its unanimous decision in Loving versus Virginia immediately changed the lives of interracial couples across the country, including Rolf and Joan Esser. Did you ever think, I'm getting married, I want to get married where I grew up? Exactly, but I knew it was illegal. Born just miles from the Lovings in Doswell, Virginia, Joan moved to New York in the mid-1950s, where at a party she met Rolf. A black beauty, a princess. <laughs> a German immigrant, Rolf was captivated. Did you know that it might be considered illegal to have a relationship? No, no. I, I thought there was nothing wrong with it. Of course, you know, it was not a common thing, I know that. When the Essers decided to get married in 1968, Joan assumed they couldn't return to Virginia. So we planned our wedding in New York, and I thought, it's going to be so sad. My parents won't be there, my family, my siblings. And then I got a phone call from my mom telling me that there had been a Supreme Court ruling. She said, you can now legally get married down here. All because an unassuming couple was determined to to go back home. So they were the pioneers for us. They made paved the way. And idealistic lawyers believed the country was ready for a new direction. There were a lot of outside influences that had nothing to do with our abilities. But it still changed history. It did. It did. And it, it's uh, these press interviews don't do much for me on it. But sometimes when I shave in the morning, there's no one else there. I can look in the mirror and say to myself, hey, Pop, I did right. 
Now, the Supreme Court's groundbreaking decision in Loving versus Virginia found a constitutional right to marry in the, in, in the document. And that, of course, paved the way for future barriers to fall, like last year's same-sex marriage decision. That ruling would not have been possible without Richard and Mildred Loving. Gail? Oh, my yes. gosh. Hey, oh, Pop, hey, Pop, you did right is right. Jan, wow. Jan, thank you. What an incredible story. And how we take it for granted. So sorry that the Lovings had to go through that, but look what they left us. Yes, the arc really of nice. history does bend towards justice. It does. It's slow sometimes. Thanks, Dr. King. Yes. Yeah, yeah, it does. Quite amazing. You're watching CBS This Morning. We'll be right back.